The rules wizard feature is a feature that's typically applied to incoming messages, you know, messages that you get in your inbox, that when it meets a certain condition or conditions that you set, like maybe it's specifically from somebody or has certain keywords that are in the subject or the body of the message or other conditions that we'll talk about later. In any case, when it meets those conditions, you can create a rule that says do this. Like, for example, that maybe moves that message to another folder or maybe plays a sound or maybe opens up an application. There's a lot to choose from, but let's keep it simple. I want to show you how to create a simple rule. And then later on, after we grasp that, I'm going to open up and show you the rules wizard that gives you a lot of conditions to choose from. So to create a simple rule, come up here from the Home tab to the Move group, click on the Rules drop-down arrow, and there you go, Create Rule. And notice how that it says when I get this message, it gives me the option, these uh, three conditions, how I can choose one, two, or all three, that the first one here says that it's from Wilberforce, Mr. Humphreys. Why does it have his email address there? The reason why it does is because I had it selected when I started the Create Rule feature. So if I wanted to have a rule based upon Carrie, that if I get an email message from Carrie, then I want to select her email before I click on Create Rule. So I'll go ahead and check Mr. Humphreys, his email address, that when I get an email from him, go ahead and do one, two, or all of the following. I can go ahead and play a selected sound. In fact, you can test it, click on it, it goes boom. Or you can click Browse and choose another sound somewhere on your computer here. Let me click Cancel. I'll uncheck that. Or you can move the item to a folder. Now when you check this for the first time, it'll open up a window for you to choose one of the folders. And because I've already did this previously, it's defaulting to the new products folder. But if I don't like that, I can click on select folder and it opens up that window that you'll see that you can choose from. Go ahead and select a folder, click OK. And then when you're finished, click Okie Dokie. And it says, OK, on any new emails that we get from Mr. Humphreys, we're going to go ahead and apply the rule. But what about those emails that are already in the inbox? Do you want to go ahead and run this rule now on the messages in the inbox? If I go ahead and check that, click OK, there it goes. It applied to Mr. Humphreys, that email message, and it moved him over to the new products folder, and there it is. Cool. Now, if I made a mistake and I'm like, oops, I didn't mean to do that when it comes to creating that rule, or I want to delete it, no longer need it, then to manage your rules, come back up here to the Move group, click on the Rules drop-down arrow, and there you go, Manage Rules. And, well, there's the default that when you installed Outlook, Outlook created this here and says, okay, we recommend that you clear the categories on incoming messages, so I'll leave that alone. And there's Mr. Humphreys. Now, if I want to go ahead and make changes to it, I can double-click on it, and it opens up the rules wizard where it gives you tons more conditions to choose from. Like, let's say I didn't want it from Mr. Humphreys. I want it, you know, from Carrie. Then, after I check the conditions up here to make any changes to those conditions, to edit them, come down here and click on the corresponding link. So when I click on it, I can choose another email address and delete Mr. Humphreys here, okay? Click Cancel. Or instead of moving it to the new products folder, click on it, choose another folder, okay? Click Cancel, and then proceed forward through the wizard. I'm going to click Cancel and not save any changes there. And if you don't want to use this uh, rule now, but you want to save it, then uncheck it, and then go ahead and click Apply, and then click OK. Or if you want to get rid of it altogether, then go ahead and delete it. Are you sure? Yes. Click Apply. Click OK. Now, if you want to get a bit more advanced, you know, as we just saw all those conditions that were available, in other words, you don't want to come up here, click on the rules and create, start with the basics. You want to go right to the advanced options to have all those conditions, not just the three here. Then click on advanced options and go ahead and check the boxes here. Like, you can see up here up at the top, it says step one, select a condition or multiple conditions and then down below, edit those. So for example, if I get it from Mr. Humphreys, I check it, come down here and say, no, 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 it's not from Mr. Humphreys. Let me click on the link to edit it and say it's gonna be, let me delete Humphreys and double click on carry to add her down below. Or if you don't have them in your contacts folder here, just type in their email address here, that works and click okay. So apply this rule after the message arrives from Carrie Heffernan. Now when I get it from her, I also want to apply another condition. I just don't want every message I get from her going over to the new products folder. Just all those messages that I get from her that have like, let's say, the keywords new product or products in the subject. And so let me come up here and check, let's see, with here's the website in the subject or body. Well, I don't want it to be that, but it does apply to in the subject or body, or maybe I don't want it in the subject and body, maybe just in the subject. So once I check it, I can come down here and say, no, 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 that's not it. Let me edit that and go ahead and select it and remove it and then type in what I would like, the keyword or words in the subject new. So you can see down below it says apply this rule when it comes from Carrie. 
with a new product in the subject to do what? So far we just selected the conditions. If we click Next, it'll say what do you want to do with the message? Do you want to go ahead and delete it, permanently delete it, forward it to somebody? I mean, you got quite a few options, right? This rules wizard gives you a lot more options than just creating a basic rule. In any case, I want to go ahead and move it to the New Products folder. Now when I check it, if it's the Not New Products folder, I can come down here and go, no, 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 no. Click on that and choose another folder, okay? Let me click Cancel, and then click Next, and it says, okay, are there any exceptions? Like, well, if it says New Products, but it has an importance of low, check the box, and then come down here and say, the importance has got to be low, and click OK then, hey, I don't care about it, you know, let's not move it to the new products folder, I'll just take a look at it later and keep it in my inbox, and then click Next. And then you can specify a name for this rule, instead of the default email address, you can say, okay, well, it's coming from Kerry regarding our E, new products, or whatever makes sense to you, okay? And then down in step two it says, okay, do you want to run this rule now on messages that you have in the new products folder? No, I just want to turn it on, I don't want to apply it now and then click Finish. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and have Carrie send me an email message that has new product in the subject, and then we'll go ahead and see if this rule really works. Come up here, click on Send Receive to see if she sent it yet. Hey, there we go. The new products, I got my email. It didn't go to the inbox, did it? It came right over to the new products. So if I go ahead and double click to open it up, new product, it had that keyword even though the colon was next to it, it could pick out and separate that, just say new product, and say that's the keyword I'm looking for, keywords, and move it right, let me close out to the new products folder. So if I come up here to rules, go down to manage rules and say, uh, I don't want to use this right now, click apply, click OK, let's go ahead and have Carrie resend that, and I'm in the new products folder here, let me come up, click on send and receive, and it shouldn't come in the new products here because I turned it off, and it came in. Not the new products, but right to the inbox because the rule is still there for me to go ahead and check it if I want to use it later. But again, it's not checked, so it's not turned on and it's not doing its thing. It's not moving it over to the new products folder. And then, of course, if you want to edit it, make changes to it, come back up here, rules, manage rules. Go ahead and double click on it. Check, uncheck, make sure that whatever boxes you check up above, you come down here and click on the corresponding link to edit it to make sure, you know, it's specific to the condition here that you want it to meet, okay? So if it's no longer gonna be with a new product, in the subject, click on it, type in a keyword, remove that one, or you can have it that says new product, and you can add quite a few here, different keywords and phrases, and then go ahead and follow the wizard. As you click, it's known as the wizard because it'll ask you certain questions, you check the boxes, edit the details down below, give it your answers, and then when you're done, the wizard combines it all together, and just go ahead, if you wanna Turn this rule on, which it's not here, but you can turn it on here or leave it unchecked. And run this rule now. A message is already in the inbox. Then go ahead and check that. Click Finish. And of course, like I said, you can turn it on here. Click Apply and click OK. And it's now turned on. Of course, if I had it apply that rule to what's in the inbox, this email would have been moved over to the New Products folder.